Winter Ash in Your Pond starts right now. There are a few tasks you'll need to do to ensure an easy winter for your pond, fish, and plants. First thing, if you've got fish, switch into a high-protein fall... F- I almost said fertilizer. <laughs> fall <laughs> food. Cool. And it's usually a wheat germ-based, and it's easier to digest in cooler temperatures. And fish change. I mean, you see it. They kind of go a little bit dormant. And oh. it, you start doing that. It's water temperature. And I've often had people, why do I have to have a thermometer in my pond? And it's just for that. It, you want to reduce their feeding when the, the temperature goes below 50 degrees. Uh, and again, you want to switch to that. And the good news is, don't worry. There you go. Thank you, Aaron. Uh, that if you're looking on YouTube, please subscribe. And that you can see Aaron pointing at the product that we're talking about. Uh, again, it's it's a fall fish food. And it is for the time when their metabolism changes. You don't want to just keep throwing that tetra junk in there. Uh, you want to have them start eating that. And like I was going to say... The best part is, is that if you have some left over, it's the first thing you feed them coming out of winter. So again, it's when that temperature, the, that water temperature gets to 50 degrees, it's time to start feeding again in the spring. So it's okay to have some left. What about leaves in a net? That's crucial because it breaks down and it gets... Uh you know, down in the, in the water the, of the basin of your uh, pond. So you want to put a gases, net over top yeah, to catch the net. leaves first. Yeah. So again, we're talking about a net, like just like, you know, you see people with their pools that they cover their pools. Yeah. You're going to do the same thing. You want to catch those leaves before they all of a sudden get lodged into the bottom of your pond. And it's important to do that because the leaves will go and begin to rot. And if in our area that we have issues where the ice will cover the pond, if ice covers the pond and there's no hole uh, in the in the uh, ice for the gases to escape, it becomes poison to your fish. So you want to make sure that you're getting those leaves out. And doing a fall cleanup of your pond is a great idea. And you scrape out that all the leaves that have fallen in there through the summer and in the spring and the fall, and you get them all out. You go and you clean it, clean it up, then put your netting over top to catch any other leaves so that you don't have that issue with ammonia getting trapped under the ice. But it brings up a UV. Right, your UV. You you got to make sure you're clean. You you your UV. Um, and again, I, I don't want you to use your UV during the winter. Uh, you should make sure that you have the right valves on your plumbing from your pump, so that you can remove the UV and it bypasses it. You have to take out your UV because it has a very sensitive sleeve that protects the bulb from getting wet. It's the UV light that kills the organisms to keep in the algae to keep your pond looking healthy and clean. But if that freezes, crack, you, you have to replace basically the, the price of the sleeve. You have to replace the bulb and you might as well just buy a new UV. And that, as you probably know, they are on the expensive slide. Uh, one thing too is, is look, if your UV it, it light bulb has not been replaced in two years, it's not doing anything. It, it, it is not bright enough to be controlling. And you will you may even notice it's, it's not working. It's like UV used to work. Now it doesn't work. And even though you think that it's on and it may show that it's on, it's just not bright enough. And you need to replace your UV every two years. So you want to replace your bulb every two years. And being you're working on the pond, it's a great time just to place your UV. I don't want you to turn it on. We don't want water going through it. We want to just bypass it for now and then hook it back up in spring when you take the the netting off. But you want to replace that bulb if it's two years uh, or older. Um, Then we go right to microb lift. Microb lift, and, and again, it's... It's a autumn prep, and that that helps break down uh, 
decomposition of leaves and sediment and organic matter that will uh, that will work its way into your pond during the fall and winter months. I, I have a pretty big break pond surface area wise, and that uh, I went, I looked at my waterfall and it was basically off. It was dripping. You know, it's like, it looked like a runny nose. You know, it was like, the, and it was because my pump was clogged with all this, these leaves that have fallen off of, I've got a uh, willow oak and, and unfortunately I have an American holly that's probably about 30 feet tall. So when you go and you grab the leaves and scoop them out, oh, yeah, you, yeah, you <laughs> find those holly leaves, but that's, that's what was clogging it. And that using autumn prep, um, for from microblift, it's uh, look. I've said it before. Ponds are like a septic tank. You got to break down the solids, and you do that with products from microblift. Autumn prep being the most important because it will work, and the, that bacteria will work and break down uh, all of the, that organic matter. And it's it's important that you do that because it makes it more safe for your fish. It's more safe, is that it? Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Right, Aaron? Safer. More safe, is that a word? Safer. More safe. More safe. <laughs> safer? Safer. But that's yeah. a brand of oh, you know, yeah. safer. safer right. a, oh, it's a brand. Yeah, safer. I don't even know if they're in business anymore. They might be. If they are, we're looking for sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to this. Um, uh, anyway... <laughs> <laughs> Again, uh, you want to do the micro lift. And then last but not least, you want to make sure that you're putting in a, a no. It's not a pond heater. Okay. It is not a pond heater. Although you may go in and say, I want a pond heater. It, 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 it's a de-icer. And think of it as creating a chimney when your pond freezes over for those gases to escape. Most important thing you could do for your pond because uh, I've had people, they come in, my fish are all dead. It's springtime. What happened? How come they died? I think somebody poisoned them. And it's like, yeah, you. Because what you did is you let the pond seal over because it froze. And even though we're in South Jersey or we're in areas that aren't necessarily as cold, like the frozen tundra, it still freezes over and that ice creates a film over top like you're covering it with saran wrap and the gas can't escape and your fish are under there and your fish are breathing that toxic gas in and that you're killing them. So make sure that you are getting a de-icer. Very um, economical because they, they work on a thermostat, not they're on all the time. So when it gets cold and, and it starts freezing over, they click on and they're doing their thing. Make sure that you have it so that it's not touching your liner because uh, it is said to make sure that, that there they have guards that are on them so that that works. But if you have it touching your liner, there is a possibility of it melting your liner. But, you know, I have honestly, I've never heard that. I've never seen that, rather. I've heard them say that. But uh, again... Make sure you put in a de-icer, and it's not going to create a sauna for your fish. It's a de-icer, not a heater. Uh, you can also use an aerator. Uh, aerator will take the the air and pump it through the water that's warm underneath, and it bubbles up, and it creates a hole in the ice where it reaches the surface because the water at the bottom is warmer so that air goes through there and it's heated up and as it hits the surface it will be warmer um i don't know i don't know i'm not a huge fan um the one thing is is that i do keep my pond going most of the year and that there is something that can happen where it can ice dam over top and it freezes and all of a sudden you empty your pond out because it's layered and layered and layered and layered of ice because your um, because you have your 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 pump is pumping through. Uh, but uh, it's rare. Just keep an eye on it, make sure. But make sure you put a, a de icer in. That that's essential. Uh, anything to add, Hul? No, you have to do this now because it's going to get cold. Right, and the leaves are falling. Yes, they are. The leaves are falling. <laughs> All right. 